What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to enable or disable Discord overlay for your games on Steam or your games on your computer, but mostly for Steam games. Um, so you can see I have a bunch of options here that I've scrolled down where Discord overlay is on and then there's the legacy overlay as well. Um, so I have this off for some games and on for some games. And how do you get to this? Let me just exit out of here really quick. So you want to click on user settings down here and then You'll see a game overlay option eventually, but just type in overlay up here. And you'll see game overlay pop up. So click on game overlay. And now we're back to where we were. So if you're currently playing a game, it'll say like, um, currently running overlay on this game. It'll show you what game you're currently playing. And you can just turn it off like this. Um, it'll ask you for some feedback. Don't worry about that. Let's just skip this. Um, and you'll see, this is now just off for the currently played game. But if we wanna actually turn it on or off for certain games in our library, you wanna and like click on this arrow here to see all the games in your library. So you, we can see that it's on for Star Wars Battlefront by default, so I wanna turn this off. Don't, for Golf with Friends, it's fine. Battlefield 1, it gets in the way. Forza Horizon is fine. Elden Ring, uh, I don't really want it and so on, you can just select. So Counter-Strike, I definitely don't want overlay on Counter-Strike, it bugs out sometimes. And the legacy overlay is what the old Discord overlay looked like. So there's a new one where it's like, it, sh it lights up the icons around your character or your avatar a little different. It organizes things differently on your screen, like the people talking, instead of being in the top left, they're more in the middle left of the screen, like around here, instead of being up here. Um, and it's lighter weight apparently maybe it's faster that's what they're saying because it's their new one they want they really want to push that through um but yeah so you have the option to use the old one the legacy one or the new one that they've added in that's pretty cool they didn't just completely get rid of the old overlay so if you like that one you can just keep using this but that is basically it you just uh select if you want it or not and then the next time you launch the game it'll remember your settings and then it will or it won't launch the discord overlay so when you're in a server with your friends, basically it won't show them talking on your screen in your game. If you have another monitor and Discord's open on the other monitor, I mean, do you really need Discord overlay? Not really. So I don't usually run it on games too often, but again, if you want to customize, that's how you do it. So hopefully you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.